Redditors who went to high school with a celebrity, what were they like before they were famous? Was friends with pornster Megan Rain in middle school and high school. We had pay together in 7th or 8th grade and we would walk whenever we had to run a mile. She walked cause she was a stereotypical pretty girl who never ran, and I was fat, so we made friends. She moved schools in high school and I still saw her from time to time around town. Last I saw her was when I ran into her downtown a couple weeks before I found out she did porn. I know a few girls that I was surprised didn't go into porn. Does that count? My dad went to high school with John Stewart and Hit Teller from Penn and Teller as his Latin teacher. My dad was a senior when John Stewart was a freshman, so he doesn't know anything about him, but he loved having Teller as a teacher. Supposedly Penn and the other guy they started out with would come in to practice tricks. Also, he talked. My dad hated high school and skipped a lot of classes, but he really enjoyed his Latin classes. He passed that on to me, so really, Teller is responsible for my minor in classical language. I find it hilarious that a celebrity famous for being silent is a language teacher. Especially fun because Latin is essentially a silent language these days. Went to high school with John Lejoie from The League, John Lejoie, Wikipedia webpage, had drama class with him senior year but otherwise didn't know him. In drama, he was quite reserved and began the year like a tender foot. Within a few months, you could tell that he had a propensity and love for acting. He progressed quickly and his final monologue was surprisingly natural and emotional. Didn't know that he was good for comedy back then but he did always have good timing. Prob. Should have done some drama work with him that year. Show me your genitals, your genitals what, show me your genitals genitalia. He was probably the first YouTube channel or a user, back then? I don't know, that I started to follow. It was pretty early. I found his videos very very funny. At some point I didn't find the new videos so funny anymore but I hear he started making serious music anyways, maybe he focused more on that, which I am happy about. I went to high school with Axel Rose and Izzy Stradlin from Guns N' Roses. Jeff, Izzy, was a good guy. Liked to ride skateboard and BMX. He wrote something about sex, drugs and rock and roll in my yearbook. I didn't hang with Bill, Axel, so I have no info to share about him. Edit, here are a few photos from one weekend in high school. Look in the back. The guy with brown hair and checkered shirt is Jeff Izzy. The blonde guy in the background is Paul Huge. I don't recall either of them playing guitar at this point in history. Before they were famous, album on Imager webpage, edit, moving this up because people keep asking for it. Here's the high school yearbook signature, high school yearbook, album on Imager webpage, it says, Hi my name is Jeff Isbell, I'm into sex, drugs, and rock just like everybody else. Here's my picture. He didn't go to my high school but I grew up really close to Justin Bieber and I had friends that were close to him. One of them was actually in his movie, The Biebs brought him down to LA for a vacation. Don't really know much about how he used to be, but everyone used to make fun of him for the videos he used to put on YouTube singing. Then they all miraculously wanted to be besties after he got discovered. My husband recently met Justin Bieber in Australia. He, my husband, was sitting in a park while our daughter was running around, and some young guys sat down next to him. They exchanged hellos and my husband noted his Canadian accent and assumed he was a tourist lol. They chatted for about 5 minutes, my husband having absolutely no idea who he was talking to until a bodyguard came over and said Justin, you only have 20 minutes. My husband eventually put two and two together and realized that it was Justin Bieber and they had a bit of a laugh about the fact that my husband hadn't recognized him, and they chatted for another 5 minutes. Apparently he was actually really nice and chill. They chatted about the WWE and playing guitar, and he was interested in what my husband does for a living, he's a bailiff. He also played with my daughter and took a selfie with them, and then went on his merry way. Not saying he hasn't acted like a douche in the past, but maybe he's grown up a bit. 
I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. We're not friends or anything but I met him a few years ago and he is actually a really chill guy. Very sweet and quite funny, contrary to popular belief he's actually humble and down to earth. Personally I think he gets way more hate than he deserves. Went to high school with PK, Subban. He was in his last year and I was a first year still making friends. I met this one girl who seemed nice enough but a little strange. Well turned out she was only attracted to black men, and being a small town, there were only a few black guys at her school. She set her sights on PK, and followed him around like a lost puppy. It was very embarrassing, but he always let her down easy and was very kind. At this point I was starting to think this girl was a little obsessive and started dialing back our friendship. Last straw was after several times of being let down easy by PK and still obsessing over him, she bought him a puppy for Valentine's Day. Didn't go to school with him, but Eminem did a speech at my school when I about 14. I walked out of the auditorium halfway through to go hang out with my then girlfriend. After his speech, Eminem toured the school. My girlfriend and I saw him and jokingly called out his name, to which he heard us and came over to chat for a few minutes. Pretty cool reward for skipping class and hanging out in the halls. Very down to earth guy. Everything I've heard about Eminem from people who met or used to know him is that he's a pretty down to earth guy. And even if he didn't see you, he must have missed you. Don't think he did that shit intentionally just to diss you. Miranda Kerr. Typical popular pretty girl, who tried hard and had everyone fun over her. Basically the perfect poster child and good girl who did whatever she was asked. I mean that with no disrespect intended. Her parents on the other hand are attention seekers and I have no respect for them. They moved the family across the country for her career when she was still quite young, without much care factor for her childhood, even less care factor for her younger brother who has struggled a lot in life living in her shadow. She was doing magazine shoots at 14, and being heavily made up and posed in skimpy outfits. There was quite a bit of uproar locally with people asking the question of whether it borderline on pedo stuff, because she was just so young but they were making her up to be so much older, because she was so tall and skinny with such big eyes and lips. It seemed they were sexualizing a girl who wasn't even in the area of the legal age of consent, and it always seemed off that a parent would allow that. Anyhow, the parents basically made it all about her and they pinned everything on her gaining success at whatever cost. The parents were quite controlling, and only gave the brother half glances in life. I believe Miranda tried to distance herself from them for a while, and not long ago they were doing interviews to the media saying they hadn't seen her in years and she wouldn't speak to them and didn't know why. Again manipulative attention seeking trash, I have nothing good to say about her parents, at all. Not high school, but middle school, 6th grade, I sat across Tyler the creator for one semester, but he was in my class all year long he was always making stupid jokes, and of course inappropriate jokes here and there, he broke my pen and said I could just go buy another one lol. He was always chatty, talking about his favorite hip hop artists, the Neptunes and NERD I believe. Towards the last few days of school, our teacher brought a camcorder to record the class, and he wanted to do a rap battle with another classmate sitting in our group. The entire class roared with laughter and I wish I could remember why, but the opponents sat down afterwards. I didn't know he was Tyler the creator until a few years ago. Crazy that he's famous now, and his humor is still intact. My sister's best friend's mom went to high school with Tom Cruise in New Jersey. She said he was dirt poor, weird and light a lot. In her words short little chubby thing would follow me around she said his teeth were all fucked up and when he said he was taking acting classes everyone thought he was bullshitting because he lied all the time. She said if I knew he was going to be famous, I would have been nicer pause not he was weirdo then and a weirdo now. God. My life is oddly intertwined with Miley Cyrus in a few ways. 1. She, and her dad, went to the church in my area and she was always well behaved and just like anyone else. She also didn't stay long, but was comfy enough with one person in my family to let him sit next to her in the pew. 2. 
my elementary school music teacher, this 60 plus year old guy who was balding with a duck dynasty beard took his teenage daughter to try out and be an extra in the Hannah Montana movie. The casting people picked him instead of his daughter. He didn't even audition. Went to high school with Willie Nelson's sons and Woody Harrelson's daughter. Willie's sons were awesome, ultra talented, down to earth guys. Micah was more hippie-ish than Lucas, but they were both very humble. Woody Harrelson's daughter was a smock a show and I later found out long after HS that she had a crush on me. FML. She was also really cool, not spoiled at all, and someone you could actually shoot the shit with. His daughter looks a lot more like his wife than him. One of my best friend's dads owned a big construction company and he built their houses so they would all play poker at her house sometimes. Crazy times man, high school was pretty damn enjoyable to say the least. Went to high school with Mike Will made it, sat next to him in geometry my freshman year, his sophomore. He was pretty quite for the most part, okay with the school work as far as I remember. Even the people he talked to didn't seem to know all that much about him and kinda teased him for how quiet he always was. Started hearing whispers of him hanging with Gucci by my junior year, 2006, and then he blew up like 4 or 5 years later. Not high school, but my brother went to preschool with Jacob Sartorius. They were kinda friends, and he had a huge 6th birthday party with a Spider-Man impersonator and a cotton candy machine, don't really remember anything about him beyond that, he was supposed to attend the school we are both at, but is pretty much universally hated at this point. It is kinda funny to hear a bunch of seniors curse out a would-be freshman for being a stock-up prick though. Not entirely sure if this counts but I was in a few of the same classes as Echosmit space player Noah Sirota back in grade school. You know the like the cool kids song? He left my hometown when we were in 6th grade. Assuming the reason why was BC his parents wanted them in LABC of the record company's contacts, etc. Anyways, honestly not much has changed. They were still all super kind. Noah was quirky but in an endearing way. Many teachers liked him, too. He was in the gay program and in a few honors courses. I don't know too much about his siblings though. Graham was very small, so I don't remember much about him. They did a talent show together though with a few of their friends one year. I believe Sydney is allergic to candy, too. Jamie was separated BC he was in junior high at the time. I want to say he won a superlative that year. Side note, I went to a K 8th grade school. Noel was a cool kid emo, at least from what I saw. Went to HS with an NFL All-Star. He had to be one of the dumbest people I've ever met in my life. I remember one time I ran into him at a local arcade and I noticed that he kept his spare quarters in his mouth. It was revolting. When he needed another quarter he just spit it out into his hand and put it into the machine. Had a couple of other non-famous pro athletes at my HS too, but they were pretty cool and relatively normal, if arrogant. Sorry, bit late to this thread, because UK. Went to school with Ed Sheeran, who was the year below. He was like every other semi-popular semi-rich ginger would be at 16. Generally a good guy, but a bit of a dick too. Two years later, I buy tickets to a gig whilst at uni. Ed Sheeran is on the ticket as a support act. I watch him perform, it's amazing. He recognized me after at his merchandise stand, we hugged and then I turned down his offer of partying because he was mean to my friend and her little brother whilst at school. Holy shit, I never thought I'd get the chance to tell this story. I can't tell people in real life because they will never believe me, and I guess you will probably call me a liar too, but whatever. I went on a date with Taylor Swift before she got super famous. It was right out of high school, when she was making a name for herself, but not get a gigantic deal. I knew her because we lived near each other. It was the craziest thing, really, I only asked her out on a dare because even not famous, she was way out of my league. But it turns out she was really nice and enjoyed the opportunity to go hang out for a while she always had a reputation as a girl who burns the candle at both ends, and she's always stressed, so I think she just wanted to relax. 
It was a pretty basic just out of high school date. We went to see a movie and I got to feel like a jackass rolling up to our super nice house in my prostats and honeybee. Don't let her early work fool you, she's a rich kid. Anyway, onto the crap you guys are actually wanting to hear about. So, after the movie and some dinner, we go back to my place to listen to some music. After a while, she pretends to be interested in checking out the hiking trails out behind my house. She said she really enjoys being out in the woods, but I figured she just wanted to be away from my parents. So we get out into the woods and very quickly get into some heavy making out. Clothes go everywhere, and that's when the story starts to take its turn. Gentlemen, I have some things to tell you about Taylor Swift. First thing, turns out she loves giving head. Pretty much the most enthusiastic beach of my life happened on the trail. She couldn't get enough. However, she's terrible at it. She's got heart, but I hope for all future guys sakes that she took some lessons. She's all teeth, and she's got that thing where her tongue is just ridiculously rough. After a while of that, we get down to the main event. Another thing you should know about her is that she is somewhat, hairier than one might expect from a super hot rich girl. I never got to ask her what was up with that, actually. So anyway, we're getting our awkward teenage bone on, and she's just as crazy as she was before. Except this time she's just straight up clawing my back to shreds. I'm not going to pretend I didn't make it where I needed to go, but goddamn, I was expecting some kind of revelation from her. It was one of those things where it is so disappointing because you had expected so much from it. So, after it was all said and done, we're putting our clothes back on, when I notice that I'm actually bleeding from my back. I had known she had her heart in it, but I didn't expect for her to draw blood. But then I realized her nails were longer and sharper than I had noticed before. And that's when I started to put it all together. She clawed my back. Her BJ was all teeth. She likes being in the woods. She went on a date with a guy driving a Datsun honeybee. Guys, Taylor Swift is a mother fucking bear. I must have shown on my face when I put it all together, because she got a glint in her beady black eyes and roared. I didn't even bother putting my clothes back on, I just ran for dear life. Luckily, I knew the woods behind my house better than she did. Even more luckily, I was able to squeeze through some spots that her 1000 pounds frame just couldn't get. Winter was coming soon, I knew if she caught me I'd be killed and stuffed into the cave she cleverly disguised as an expansive suburban home so that she could keep her energy up before hibernation began. I eventually wound up hiding in a stump by a stream until she gave up and left. It was the most frightening thing to ever happen to me in my life. Damn it. I thought this was real because she seems like the type of girl to use her teeth to suck a dick. You've either posted this somewhere before or this is a repost from someone else. Edit, a quick Google search of this comment reveals that this story has been posted several other times on other subreddits under different usernames. Tisk tisk. Comma winter was coming soon, I knew if she caught me I'd be killed and stuffed into the cave she cleverly disguised as an expansive suburban home so that she could keep her energy up before hibernation began. Not often that Reddit makes me genuinely laugh out loud but this did it. Thanks.